friends, welcome at Domidrevno workshop, or I should say wooden house workshop. Today we will start work at some quite unusual project. I need uh, to do, to prepare, to build a special arm for my lightings uh, at uh, green screen studio and of course I I decided to, to make it uh, from just from from wood so um, I need to build a um, couple couple elements with wooden hinges so like you see on my table saw I have quite excellent piece of polish ash it's a uh, a very very nice looking species of wood and uh, first of course uh, I need to clean clean up both edges and this piece on, on the table like uh, like you see is mm, quite tougher I think the, the, the word I should uh, I should use so it won't be parallel I leave it uh, like this uh, for a couple minutes because I don't uh, I don't want to lose any any centimeters. It's a very nice looking uh, species of wood. Uh, on the widest end is about 35 or maybe even more. Uh, centimeters so it's quite uh, quite uh, quite wide uh, like you see I'm using push stick because it's quite hard to to push it on the table next two edges and then we can jump to the thicknesser and here is the I think the, the easiest way is this or easiest part of uh, um, woodworking you just need to put one piece, uh, put a piece of wood from the one side and take it away from another side. Like you see, I'm using a special spray. It's a lubricant for to to help moving uh, boards uh, on the table. And then we can back to the table saw and make a couple couple cuts it's about I think uh, 13 centimeters and then time to cross cuts so the, the boards will be 50 by sorry 50 by 13 I think um, the the thickness is 22 millimeters. I think it will be enough, but we will see. <clears throat> and the small one is about 10 by 13. And now we can start work uh, with the hinges. So I I found the the washer is nearly the same dimension. Uh, so I draw the circle and then I draw the center line so 11 centimeters sorry 11 millimeters of course and it's a waste uh, material yeah the, the market one and uh, the long uh, the long board it it will have uh, two hinges on the both sides on the bots end and of course I need the center line too and then we can jump to the bend saw first cuts uh, it's quite easy because I can start from the from the beginning and I uh, can use uh, parallel fans and like you see I'm using stop block on the end, on the end, the the long, longest uh, boards 
mm, it's more difficult because I need to start uh, from the from the side and get to the uh, get in get into the middle section and then I can use the drawing line as a guide and of course it you know the the board is 22 millimeters if I lose the one one millimeters uh, in the middle it's it's okay it's really okay because if I want close up hinge I need some space uh, between and now I'm use a caliper to split this hinge on four elements I think four is enough should be good and like you see I'm using a very um, very delicate uh, Japanese saw because the blade is about 0.3 millimeters so it's really really tiny uh, cut and I think if I put the screw quite long screw through the hinge I should uh, I should um, screw it tight and the whole hinge should be quite um, quite easy to to set up now I'm using a 90 degree magnetic block to cut two, um, two elements on the end and then jump to the scroll saw. Sorry, I, I didn't uh, set up um, focus properly. Uh, and of course I'm using it because um, the band saw, sorry, the scroll saw. I'm using because it's because uh, the blade is uh, very delicate too. Like you see, it's start looking as a hinge here, yeah? <laughs> and the loose is uh, really really tiny. Then I can think about planning the middle section uh, after bent saw. Of course, you can use plane. Of course, you can use uh, sandpaper. It's not a big deal to, to, to make it flat and of course it's not so important to be really really flat. And now time to, uh, to, to some math. Uh, 37 minus 11, 26. 32 minus, minus 11, 21. It's a 21 board and it's 26 millimeter piece. So I can use this drill very easily, no measurement, no sorry, no measure, no drawing on the boards, and of course it will be um, the drilling will be through the material, but the the drill, like you see, is not enough uh, long, so I can I must drill from the both side, both sides and the hole is really really accurate in the middle of the on the on this uh, material and i can use long screws like this and it's so easy um, it's so easy type of work really believe me and another and another drill and sorry and another hole it's so easy that, believe me, every kit can work with this uh, uh, spark drill. Okay, and then we need to clean up, clean up um, external edges of the hinge. Uh, I'm using a belt sander. I think the easiest and uh, most efficient uh, efficient uh, type of work it's so easy like you see and again the shape external shape don't have to be really really 
um, part of a circle, you know, is not uh, not so important. Then I'm using small hand um, bent saw for made, uh, for metal uh, to cut this uh, thread, and of course we need to we need to think about um, about nut, and like you see, the end of uh, screw is tapered, so it's so easy to put nut uh, on the screw, and then we can then we must uh, take care about internal internal part of hinge and like you see I'm using excellent now next excellent uh, uh, equipment is uh, Milwaukee M12 um, angle grinder with this uh, 50 millimeters uh, foot is so efficient uh, type of word excellent excellent uh, excellent tool and now I can start test I can do first test of the hinge it's working or not yes <laughs> I did it now I'm using very handy small um, milling machine I will add or I should say add I will remove every edge uh, and I will add their small chamfer I think it will look much uh, much better with this chamfer chamfers so I will spend on this uh, part of work a couple minutes and then I need to prepare two clamps for my LED lamps and uh, like you see I'm cutting uh, this piece of wood uh, on the bench so but I need to um, tell you that I do it on wrong direction like you see now the grains uh, uh, going on the long edge and this uh, this part can I can broke it easily, so uh, I won't be uh, I won't record it uh, another time. Uh, but keep in mind that uh, this part was uh, was changed, and like you see, it's mounted on my uh, green uh, green screen studio table so on expanded moment uh, is about one meter uh, long and like you see is uh, is quite straight I think it's it's working really really good but it's only one but uh, in this position the arm is really straight yeah like you see but when uh, when I move hmm, how to say it how to explain you when I do something like this oh yeah the the part the closest part uh, to the aluminium rail is going uh, like like wing but of course it's not so important for me to 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 keep it really really straight but um, uh, now i know that i should use much more uh, thicker material okay so maybe next time i will do some uh, i will use uh, thicker material or maybe aluminium okay so like you see the two uh, two LED lights on the left and right side I'm using only to uh, as a backlight it will uh, the light it will be only behind me 
and uh, it will use only to light on on the on the green screen and of course it's my new 3d printer voron uh, v0 or voron zero okay so thank you for your attention and i can clean up clean up after work like you see i can put it uh, quite close to the to the table okay thank you and See you next time. Bye-bye.